I welcome you to all in this uh, lecture series of computer system architecture and today I am going to teach you and explain you each and everything about the multiplexer. Multiplexer also known as a data selector. It is a combinational circuit that has multiple inputs and one output, right? So, multiplexer <coughs> has two raised to power and input lines and uh, one output and it is also known as in, in short form we uh, see we write MUX MUX. So here in this example that I have taken is 4 cross 1 multiplexer you can also draw a 2 cross 1 multiplexer right it can be like 2 cross 1 multiplexer 2 cross 1 multiplexer because it has multi input but it has only one output right so it can be 4 input like this and one output it can be two input lines and one output lines like this or again it can be 8 cross 1 multiplexer it can be 16 cross 1 multiplexer so it has multi inputs inputs are in the form of 2 raised to power n and only one output right so if you put n 1 then it will be it will become 2 cross 1 when you put n equal to it becomes 4 cross 1 multiplexer and when this value is 3 it becomes 8 cross 1 multiplexer so <coughs> how these input these are the four inputs and how these inputs are selected uh, at a time only one uh, output is it produces right so how it happens so it happens because of these selection lines so these are the selection lines so when we have four input so in that case we have two selection lines right these are the selection lines so let's say s0 and s1 these are the two selection lines so because of these selection lines these inputs are selected one at a time right let me write if i write that this input is a0 this input is a1 this input is a2 right and this input is a3 so in this case in this case when <coughs> we have s0 the value of s0 is 0 and s1 is 0 then a0 is going to be selected so y will be a0 and when we have 0 and 1 a1 is going to be selected and here when we have two input lines like I represent the, the first input line as A0 and the second input line is A1 right so I have one selection line here only I have one selected line so if this the value of S is 0 then A0 is going to be selected because it is a data selector right and when the value of S is 1 then A1 is going to be selected right so let me draw a uh, diagram or, or a logic circuit for this scenario so I design a combination circuit which is a multiplexer 4 cross 1 for this scenario right so first uh, let write the 
truth table for uh, 4 cross 1 multiplexer which is very easy right so 4 cross 1 multiplexer it has 4 input and 1 output right so here the input are s0 and s1 right s0 and s1 and the output are this y right so in that case we have four combinations of 0 and 1 which is which are 0 0 0 1 and 1 0 and 1 1 right so when the these these two are selection lines right so when s0 is 0 and s1 is 0 a0 the input a0 is going to be selected right remember don't forget that this is a data selector multiplexer is known as data selector so from these multiple inputs one output is going to be selected at a time because multiplexer is is a multi input and single output combination circuit so when s0 is 0 and s1 is 1 a1 is going to be selected and when s0 is 1 and s1 is 0 a2 is going to be selected and when the value of s0 is 1 and s1 is 1 a3 is going to be selected right okay so now we design the combination circuit right so for this you can also write a boolean function which is like s0 complement s1 complement a0 this it will be y so let me write this for you that in in 4 cross 1 multiplexer if i write the boolean function for that it will be like s0 complement s1 complement right and then a0 okay we will write this boolean function like this and then plus s0 complement then s1 then a1 right and plus for this s0 and s1 complement okay a2 then for the last case when s0 is 1 so we will write s0 when s1 is 1 we will write s1 right and then a3 so it's very easy now to uh, design a logic circuit for this because uh, we have these uh, we have this these three inputs are connected to the AND gate and then these min terms these because of because uh, we know that this is a sum of product form so we can say that these are the min terms okay so these are the four min terms s0 complement s1 complement a0 s0 complement s1 a1 so these four min terms are connected to the AND gate and then they are affiliated to the OR gate so this is it's a very simple right so <coughs> here when my uh, when i uh, take this s0 and s1 right so let uh, draw a uh, logic circuit for that so take s0 and s1 here right so this is this line is for s0 because it's going to be used for this entire uh, four uh, min terms then or, or four uh, these four uh, input and output right and then s1 again s1 is going to be used for this four uh, 
combinations of momentum say right? and then I come complement it and I take the complement of this as zero right and we have this s1 and then I take the complement of this as well right and then so let draw this for this case so when s0 complement s1 complement so select this right s0 complement s1 complement so these are connected to the end gate right so here we have another input which is a not a0 right A zero. And for this S dot complement S one. So S zero or S not complement, whatever you say. So S zero complement S one, right? This is for the S one. And here we have A one, right? these all are fitted to the end gate because we know that this is a uh, end operation because of these, these these are the hidden dot there right s0 dot s1 dot a0 and they, they, these all four are connected to the or gate because plus operation is the nothing but your or gate so here in this case when we have uh, S0 and S1 complement, right? S0 and S1 complement. So S0 and S1 complement. So take S0 from here, right? S1 complement from here, because this line is for uh, S1 complement, and then A2. A2 right so A2 and these again are faded to the end gate we will use the end gate here and you, you know it and if you if you are not aware of the end gate or the truth table or the functionality of end gate you can uh, watch my video on logic gates then we have this last uh, term S0 S1 and A3 right so I I don't have a space here so let me uh, rub this right so uh, let me rub this right so you have also uh, you have also noted down here otherwise if you have not not it uh, on your notebook so please uh, rewind this and then uh, for the whole expression right so I will write here as zero and S0 is 1, S1 is 1, then A3, right? So this is like S0, right? So, okay, S0, S1, and A3. And these are faded to this end gate, right? And this is your end gate. Okay. Now, okay. So now these all are connected to the plus operation, which is your, uh, which is uh, your yeah, OR gate. So let me make okay, OR gate for. The to connect these right so this is your y the output okay and then these all are fed to this orbit like this okay and uh, this is your multiplexer right 
So let me explain you uh, once again that what, how the, the, these operations will be. Like when we have the value of S0 is 0, right, and S1 is 0. So then A0 is going to be selected. How this is, how it will happen because when S0 is finished, so 0, 0, so 0 will become 1 here. Then S1 is 0, so it will become 1 here because these these two inputs are from these not gates. So, so the operation, so the we feed 0, 0. But it becomes 1 1. It becomes 1 1 here, right? 1 here and 1 here, right? So when it becomes 1 1, then it's going to be selected. This line is going to be selected because the all other will be 0. And from the definition of AND gate, we know that if both inputs are 1 or if all the inputs are 1, is going to be 1. So here, we, what we will. Um, what it will give in the output is only one because a0 is the value will be one because why why a0 is one because a0 is going to be selected so this value will be one so here the one will be there or a naught will be there because a naught is going to be selected so when these are fitted to this so here we have a naught which is one okay and then all other inputs are zero so from the definition of OR gate, which says that if one of the input is 1, then it AYB is to 1. So Y will be A naught, okay? Like that. Let me revise for you now, once again that when we pass 0, 0, it becomes 1, 1 here because these uh, two inputs are connected to this NOT operation, right? So here 0 will be 0 and here it will be 1. And when it S1 is 0, so it because it is connected to this, uh, so it will be, it this 0 will become 1. And A0 is already there. So 1, 1, 1. Okay. Because A0 is going to, so, so 3, both, all, all the inputs of this AND gate is 1, then that's why it will produce 1 here. So 1, uh, and that 1 will, represents the a naught okay and these all other are zeros because here the value is zeros because in this case it it will be fitted one but it is connected to s1 directly so it will be zero so like in these all these cases so i hope you have understood the, this concept of multiplexer so if you have any questions uh, regarding this you can let me know in, in the comment box so thank you very much thanks